2019's Detention from Taiwan is maybe the best video game adapted film of all time. That's easy to say when your competition is really not that great. Recently, I watched 2019's Detention, the second release from Decanalog, a Vinegar Syndrome partner label. This film, in a couple words, is pretty good. Detention is set in the 1960s Taiwan in a period of time called the White Terror. This period of time targeted leftist intellectuals, defenders of the Chinese Communist Party, and completely outlawed anything related to activities that might be related to those individuals. The film is centered around a book club that is reading books that have been banned during this time. And based on that situation, a lot of the kids go missing and there are main characters that go out seeking for their missing classmates. Now the surreal nature of this film takes a, a lot of twist and turns around this actual search. This film has a lot of great things going for it and a few of the scenes are especially important to bringing the heartfelt emotion filled within the pages of the script to the screen. One of the best ways that they accomplish this is through some rather intense imagery. Now for me, I know me personally, I've always been affected more so by scenes of people hanging. And uh, for those that are you know, triggered by something like that, there are quite a few of them in this film. I loved them. Uh, they, they really conveyed the emotion that I wanted to feel in those scenes and it made me emotionally connect to them because it was harrowing. It was really well filmed. One of the more unique aspects of this film is that there was a creature that really looked like something straight out of Silent Hill. And it sort of had a mirror face, which uh, sort of hard to explain without seeing a visual, but really, really unique design. And then on top of that, this creature grabbed a student and its hand formed a burlap sack over this kid's face and just started to break its neck. And it was so well done that I just could not look away. It was uh, one of the best scenes from this film and immediately made me want to go back and watch it just for that scene alone. One of the things that might turn people away from this film is that some of the camera movements can be disorienting. Uh, there are a couple different ways that they achieve this. One is just through genuine movement and uh, it, it doesn't really serve a purpose but perhaps makes it feel a little more frantic. The second made me think back to some of the ways that Stanley Kubrick used to film some of his scenes. For example, when Jack Torrance is trying to break through the, the door with the axe and he takes the camera and moves it with the movement of the axe and it makes it feel that much more impactful. There are a few scenes that are done with that in mind in this and it works pretty damn well. The highlight for me in this movie though was the score. The score is masterful. The score in some of these emotional scenes are matching it beat for beat and the emotions in some of these can change literally in just a couple seconds and when they take the score and match it so perfectly, it brings out the emotional impact of what is changing in the scene in a way that is really not that simple to do. And it is so well done because the transition is seamless. Based on the surrealism of the story, it is a little difficult to pin down some of what is actually happening and what is not happening. And then on top of that, there are a couple plot points that are a little iffy like a student being jealous of a teacher's relationship with another teacher kind of comes off as a little cringy nowadays, but that being said, it was still, you know, important to the plot and, and I could understand what they were trying to convey at least. The extras for this release are good, but fairly light, to be honest. The extras for this include a conversation with the video game creator for which the film is based on. There's a featurette filled with clips from the filming, like behind the scenes type things. There is a sort of music video with scenes from the film interjected in and then there's a rather short featurette on the special effects used to create the film. Overall it totals about 25 minutes when you include the trailer which is pretty light. All that being said the best extra that is a part of this release is the booklet on the inside. The booklet in this release led me to want to read more and more and educate myself about the white terror. That is the period of time that the movie is based in like I said at the beginning of the video. And this period of time is when martial law was declared against Taiwan starting in 1949 and ending up, uh, there, there are a few different accounts of when it officially ended, but generally it's spoken about as if it ended in 1987. During this period of time, the Kuomintang or KMT 
they would target, like I said, these leftists, the uh, supporters of the Chinese Communist Party, the intellectuals, and they would imprison them or uh, torture them or kill them based on the things that they were supporting, like banned books or other things that would come across as propaganda. Although the outcomes were very different, this period of time had a, a very similar vibe to like the Red Scare in the United States, where people were having you know sham cases filed against them, and just th this feeling of this person is a dissident, so they must be punished. During this period of time, tens of thousands of individuals were killed, and more than 140,000 were imprisoned in Taiwan. Even though this was filmed in the last five years and released in 2019, you can understand that a lot of people that are alive and a part of filming this, they've had family members that lived through the White Terror. Maybe, you know, their parents were a part of the White Terror. Maybe when they were younger, they were a part of the White Terror and they saw some of it happen. And the big thing that really comes across here is that it is a real period of time that emotionally affected not just the people involved in the story, but the country as a whole, the entire culture, and you can feel that. And I love a film like this that will make me want to seek out more information and dive into a period of history that, to be honest, I knew literally nothing about. So, uh, Detention, I genuinely really enjoyed it. I think it's a very well-made film. For Detention, there are a lot of things that I liked, a lot of things that I didn't like. Overall, it got about a three and a half out of five for me. I think that it is something that a lot of people will enjoy. But in all reality, I think I got more enjoyment out of reading the booklet and reading up on the period of time after I finished the movie. And for that, it, it really connected with me, and I'm, I'm glad to have watched it. And I genuinely think more people need to see it. There are a couple of quotes that were said in the film that I think really convey the desperation that they were trying to express here. The first one is, someone has to live to see how difficult it was to get freedom. The second one is, as long as you survive, there is hope. As for pairing this film, I think a great pairing with this movie would be Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is also a very disorienting film, a very surreal film, very uh, identifying a period of time where there were some atrocities that took place and led to a, a great period of PTSD. I think the one-two punch of Detention and Jacob's Ladder would fit really well together and just leave a really well-balanced evening. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of room for uh, upbeat thoughts there, considering the subject matter, but they would certainly make a great pairing. Thanks for listening to my thoughts on Detention from Decanalog. You can buy it now from the Vinegar Syndrome website. I will link that below. And if it's available on Amazon, the link will be there as well. As usual, please give the video a like if you liked it. And if somebody's interested in Detention and they are curious, somebody's thoughts on it, you can share this video with them. And I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. In the meantime, as I always say, from one collector to all of you, have a good night. of other people as the enemies and outlawed all kinds of <coughs> <coughs> this film is in a word very well done <laughs>